Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries, where the shed fairies have once again been quite busy. This time we've drilled the hole for the oil pressure relief valve and this hole here that connects this oilway on the timing case with this oilway. And I'll show you that on the finished piece in a minute. We'll be looking at this side of it. So there'll be a large hole for the pressure relief valve and a smaller hole to connect these two passages, which looks like this. So there we go. That is where the oil pressure relief valve will go in there. This oil passage here connects to the one in the bottom here through this hole, which is drilled from top to not quite the way through. So how does it all work? Well, if the, the oil pump will be pumping oil in here, that is going to fill this chamber here and come out of here to the crankshaft and feed the big end. It's also going to carry on up to here, past the oil pressure relief valve and up this way. It would normally come out of this hole. That hole will be blocked. Then it'll turn 90 degrees and come along this way to fill this cavity when it goes into the sleeve drive crank and oils the plain bush driving the sleeve. Okay, with us so far. So what happens here then? Well, these are the components of the oil pressure relief valve. This nice tube fits inside here and serves two purposes. One, it contains all of the bits of the oil pressure relief valve, and two, it blocks off the hole that's been drilled down from here. So that stops the oil coming out of this passage because that but that little sleeve is in the way. So the ball bearing drops into the sleeve in there. The spring goes into the sleeve. Oh, come back, it's like there's puzzles, isn't it? You get at Christmas. Spring goes into there and that drops into there. So of course the, the pressure from the spring holds the ball bearing against the end of, of there. And that means that the oil cannot come back out into this void unless there's a problem. So normally the oil pressure relief valve it, the, the ball is pressed down and the oil comes all the way up. But if there was a problem, if there was some hydraulic lock, there's a blockage somewhere in the oilway, uh, rather than explode the, the casing or strip the threads off the oil drive uh, pump, oil pressure relief valve, the extra pressure buildup of oil would just push the bell, but ball bearing over the spring and would allow oil to dribble back into this cavity here. So what holds it all in? Well, this plate here, holds everything in it's drilled and tapped to take these nice countersunk screws that go in either side and of course what this does is two things it blocks off this hole so oil coming this way and then up can't come back out into the cavity it carries on and it also allows the oil that does come past the oil pressure relief valve if there is ever a problem allows that oil to come through this hole here and dribble back down into this chamber so that is the completed finished timing cover all the drillings the only drilling that's not done in the timing cover is the one where the oil pump pushes oil out into the cavities and that we won't be able to do until we've mounted this onto the timing case we've mounted the oil pump onto the timing case and then we can put a bit of blue on the pump and find out exactly where the nose of the pump pumps the oil out then we will be done so back on here that is here this is the oil pump looking sideways on. That's where the oil pump pushes the oil out through the nose and then up here into the, the big end for the um, crankshaft. Up here past the oil pressure relief valve, do a little dog leg up here into the sleeve drive crank and to oil the plain bush that drives the sleeve. So that's one good piece of work that's been completed now and uh, there will be more updates to follow so thanks very much for watching stay tuned for more